There are several ways for fulfillers to access and work tickets that have been assigned to them. The easiest one is using the fulfiller or service desk homepage to view the My Work and My Group's Work queues. These will show tickets that have been assigned to you and assigned to your groups, respectively. From there, you can view an overview of each ticket that has been assigned to you. You can hover over the information icon for additional information, or you can click into the ticket to actually work the ticket and add updates, change the state, and so on. You can also access these same queues that are on your home page by selecting Service Desk, and then selecting either My Work or My Group's Work to view these tickets. The My Work queue will always show tickets that have been assigned to you specifically, whereas the My Group's Work queue will show tickets that have been assigned to groups that you are a member of but have not yet been assigned to an individual and therefore need to be. Finally, you can always access tickets by going into the specific application where they live. For incidents, it would be in the Incident application under Open Incidents. And for requests, it would be under the Service Catalog application under Tasks. In order to make this work, you want to use some filters to refine the list because by default it shows every active task or incident in the ServiceNow system, including all assignment groups, not just the ones that you belong to. If you create a filter that you like and want to be able to reference again in the future, you can always save it by clicking the Save button on the filter. Enter the name that you would like to save the filter as, click Save again. Then you can apply that filter anytime you view the list by right clicking in the navigation panel at the top, navigating to Filters, and selecting the name of your saved filter. If you access your tickets from our list view, which is what it shows when you use My Work or My Group's Work, you can select the settings gear at the top left corner of the list to add or remove columns to your list. This can be really useful for searching through and sorting your list and for easily editing fields on the ticket using the list view. For example, here I can add an assignee to a particular ticket by double-clicking in the empty assigned to field and searching for that user.